Hi there, one is currently the 3rd going into the 4th of October 2012. We're out here with today's Western Pacific weather update. And this is a very active uh, time out here in the Western Pacific here today. Actually watching two active and named tropical systems. We have Malixi off here towards the east and also Kami just towards the west of the Philippines. Not to mention another area we're going to talk about near the end of the update. This is Invest 97W, just towards the east of the Marianas. And in this one, I'm actually very interested in because some of the models are expecting this one to develop up into a very strong typhoon going into the early part of this coming week, or next week that is. But also, I want to take a half a second here and let you know that on November 10th, we are doing a seminar in Manila. We're going to have a few authors come out there. Also, videographer James Reynolds likely will be joining us as well any significant tropical system so just want to let you know that location still yet to be determined so any options uh, any suggestions that is uh, for anybody out across this area that currently lives there please let us know but we will be posting an article on the website here in the near future you can go to our website or our fan page that is at Western Pacific weather on Facebook and do RSVP for that if you do want to attend. Back to the update and the tropics here. Well, let's zoom in on Malixi here. Now moving off towards the north. It's still a very broad and disorganized system. The center of circulation is actually very broad. Very good equatorial inflow coming into it. And also it's getting some enhanced outflow due to an upper level trough off here towards the north. That's allowing more exhaust aloft. But all in all, if we take a look at the wind shear here, Definitely abundant amount of wind shear pushing in from the west. That is why we have this huge drier slot off there towards the uh, northwestern peripheries of this storm system. And that's causing it to stay oh, well, relatively weak at this time. Still a severe tropical storm expected over the next 24 hours. But going into uh, the next 48 hours, it was originally expected to become a typhoon. It doesn't look like that is the case anymore. But the Osagata Islands are still really going to get hit up by this storm system. Even some outflow very well uh, could interact with a stationary front over Japan into the latter part of this week and cause some thunderstorm activity. Now, it's this stationary boundary right here that's actually being enhanced by that upper-level trough that I was talking about, allowing more outflow aloft on the storm system. This is showing about 24 hours out, expecting this to be a severe tropical storm. Malixi as it does move off there towards the north. But once again, JMA is even pointing out that the really the winds around the storm system are all concentrated towards the right portion of it. It is moving off towards the north. So the name is fitting. Melixi is the Filipino word for fast. And the storm's actually moving right around 20 kilometers an hour at this time. Will it be racing off there towards the north? One of the main threats of it also is going to be some high waves along the coastal areas. So one thing I do want to show you, one of the warnings here from the Japan Meteorological Agent. And I want to point out something actually here that some people may not know. But you have the Osagata Islands down here towards the south. This is actually off the map and it's all in red indicating high wave warnings. Well, that's what this one particular warning here is for. But also, look at Tokyo. It's in the red. Now, that's actually uh, one thing. This is more of a political issue. Tokyo Bay is not getting high waves. Sometimes people get misled by this. But actually, the Osagata and Izu Islands are part of Tokyo Prefecture. JMA does not distinguish the differences. They highlight these by color. So, if you ever go to this page and you see the Izu Islands and the Osagara Islands are getting hit by a tropical system, very often you're going to see uh, Tokyo in red as well. Tokyo Bay itself is not getting high waves near the coastlines. It's these outer islands. So, just one thing to note. I don't know why they're part of Tokyo Prefecture, but... It is something. And back to the track here, though. JMA currently has a storm system at 40 gusting up to 60 knots, expecting it to push off there towards the north, then start racing northeast once it interacts with that stationary boundary, staying off the coast, really taking uh, a slimmer track as Elmineer. Last week, actually, I just saw Weathercaster Pat's update earlier on today. He noted the same exact thing. The storm system really looks like it's going to be taking a very similar track. So as we saw some gusty winds, some rain showers, and thunderstorms across Tokyo when Elmineer pushed over last week well, it does look like it's going to be very similar out across this area going through the next several days so not really too much intensity expected from the storm system but we do first want to talk about that let's switch out towards the west just around the philippine sea i know that's the one most people are really interested in because of its location here in the south china sea now it is currently spinning up and gradually drifting towards the west Despite the fact that this may or may not make landfall, more likely not make a landfall here around the Philippines, it's 
definitely bringing a lot of inflow. Widespread rain showers and thunderstorm activity is going to be expected across much of uh, Luzon here, including Manila into the coming days. And if you take a look at this imagery, those wider areas are indicating those stronger thunderstorms. Current radar out of Manila says 10-4. That is absolutely what is happening here. Some very heavy rain showers indicating upwards of about 20 to 30 millimeters an hour of these rains as this pushes on shore. The Manila right in there. Yeah, well, hopefully it doesn't show up like this when we plan on having our seminar and our meet and greet down there in Makete. But still, uh, it's for today. Some heavy rain, so localized urban flooding definitely is going to be a threat as the storm system continues to linger off there towards the west. Even uh, some outer flooding into some of the uh, suburban areas and landslides on some of these steeper elevations you can see here on this topographic map. And also we can see here on the 72-hour outlook as the storm does slowly creep off there towards the west and eventually bends back towards the, the or excuse me, towards the east and bend back towards the west. A very abundant amount of precipitation occurring across the Philippines here. Also, you can see the track of Maliksi off there towards the north. Definitely an intertropical convergence zone in our Invest 97W continuing to form up there to the east. And this is a look at the model consensus from a bunch of these here. It does linger over the next several days, going through Wednesday and Thursday. But then by Friday, it starts to scoot off there towards the west. Vietnam, you're definitely going to be experiencing a landfall. At least at this time, it does look like that is going to be the case after the storm system gets done lingering across the South China Sea. So very heavy rains are going to be expected here around Da Nang. You definitely could be seeing some flooding, urban flooding there as well. And then eventually into Cambodia and maybe off towards Bangkok, you could be seeing some increased precipitation going through the week. And that's kind of what the official track from the Japan Meteorological Agency expects. Pull off there towards the east, linger here for about the next two to three days and significantly ushering off towards west due to a high pressure ridge kind of pushing in on this storm system basically like a rock falling on something lighter and just pushing it along i guess would be a very simple analogy uh let's widen the view across the western pacific though and take a look at the gfs model outlook and that inflow coming in across the philippines that's the rainfall i'm talking you can see over towards the west of the Philippines that inflow continuing to push on shore. Now this is going through the latter part of the week. That as it even pulls off towards the west, still enhancement occurring here, even off towards the southern portions of the Indochina Peninsula and then into the weekend. A storm eventually makes a landfall near Da Nang, bringing all that heavy precipitation with it. But also going into the weekend, this now one thing I do want to note is this area near Guam that Invest 97W we've been talking about, uh, it has been here on these model runs for several days now and once you start seeing it consecutively over and over again that's when our eyebrows really start to get raised well take a look at this going into the latter part of the week uh it's a high pressure over portions of japan here very well down here towards the south that could block it off and uh, i apologize southern japanese islands but uh, at least according to this model outlook you very well could be seeing another significant tropical system the very long range, at least going into next week. Time will tell if this does develop also initialization. It very well could even track due west towards the Philippines. So definitely going to continue to watch that area very closely in through the coming day. But that is all for right now, everybody. Thanks again for watching here at WesternPacificWeather.com. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please post them in the comment box below. I always appreciate the feedback. Also, once again, if you want to let us know you want to come to our uh, seminar there in Manila, please RSVP on our Facebook page. Definitely appreciate that feedback if you plan on coming as well. And at least get to hang out with us here at Western Pacific Weather. If you have any questions or comments, we definitely always like to field them as well. So, Please stay safe out there, hello everybody, and have a great day. Bye.